Hello all my lovely souls, this is Sari and welcome to episode 11 of Sky Mist. So let's have a look into this for you. Now I've been reading the comments a little bit and I did a little bit of testing. Oh wow, I didn't realise I was still on creative. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I left it in hard mode and left the server on overnight and yeah. <laughs> I was just doing a little bit of testing in creative and I finished a little bit of testing. Oops, don't want to fall in my own hole. Oops. Okay. Right now, I did a fair bit of testing the other day with the powered spawner. Now, there's a, there's, I, blah, 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 English is apparently hard. Now, there are two ways to get power apart from that first step generator. There's the combustion generator, or there's the photo, well, like cell. Now, you can either make the red one or the green one. I don't know what that one is, uh, I think it's just a chisel. Now, it, all it takes is some pulsating iron from NDIO. It's all very easy to make. It's easy. It's better to make the advanced one because it holds more power and it gives a better RF per tick. The downside to this is it only works during the day. I can't sleep because there's so many monsters around. That's what I get for leaving it logged in. Oh my god, spiders. Okay. Yeah. Why are there so many endermen around where I couldn't get any before? I can't believe it makes such a difference. I'm just going to set it to peace for a moment. Just to get rid of all those mods, mobs, I should say. There we go. Okay, so if you want to make the combustion generator, all it requires is your fluid tank, which is just iron, a basic gear, two basic gears, a piston. A machine chassis, which is fairly easy to make. Now, I haven't actually planned out where I want this to go, but I do want a place to put my vat to create a better fuel, because the the photovoltaic cell you need sunlight, which handily enough it is daytime. I have, as I said, I haven't actually planned where I want to put this yet. Um, just for the sake, let's just put it there for now. Okay, so it's not enough to just use a lever in this pack for the gener uh, for the spawner. So. To move this. Must have clear line of sight. It does. There we go. And there, it generates power. Now, for during the night. I hear a zombie dying. Oh, there he is. Seriously, zombie? Thank you. Uh, so, with the combustion generator, you're going to need a vat. Now, the vat makes rocket fuel, 
from Enderio. Now you're going to need this rocket fuel to run your combustion generator. You're also going to need coolant. Sorry, for tick. Um, burns liquid requires coolant. So there's the coolant and there's your fuel. Hmm. So that's oh there we go. It's generating power. Or is it taking the power from the solar panel? No. Okay. Strange. Okay, so rocket fuel is made with gunpowder and redstone. Look at how fast it, draw, it, it draws the power. Hmm. Either that or I need a better fuel source. Still got heaps of power in there. So the generator is generating 160 RF per tick. I need to go back to the house and get some stuff. I'm trying out new software so for recording. Redstone. Gun. Okay. So let's go over to the vat, which is over here. Oh, it takes power too. Okay. There we go. It's taking power from the generator. Wow, it drains the power so fast. I don't know what's supposed to go there. Hmm. I think I'm missing something here somewhere.
can't. It's got enough power, but it's not generating. Okay, the redstone doesn't go to the left, it goes to the right. Oh, hooch. Uh, I'm not really sure it's supposed to go in here. Is it water? Well, thank you for the potato seeds. Let's get some more water. Okay, so you are required to put water in and it cooks. Twenty-four percent, twenty-nine, thirty. It goes pretty fast with the pro progress, thankfully. And I need it to make rocket fuel. It is making rocket fuel. Yay! And night time is coming, so we need to go to sleep. It'll passively continue to make rocket fuel, which is awesome. You may not rust. Oh, damn it. Because there's monsters in the cave just there. Um, so now that we can make rocket fuel, we need a more stable way to get gunpowder so we can get that from sulfur do we have any sulfur? we do have sulfur Saltpeter, full sulfur, and charcoal. Saltpeter. Charcoal. Okay, let's make some charcoal. Hungry apparently. Okay, so we should have enough charcoal now. Yep. Okay, so this with saltpeter and with sulfur make gunpowder. Yay! So there's a reason to mine that sulfur now. Shut the hole before I fall out. Oh man, so many creepers. Let's go over here and let them despawn a bit. We need to check on our farm anyway. All I've got growing is sweet potato. I need to grow something else. Oh no. Stay calm. Yes, that's it. No! My goodness, creepers. Ooh. Uh, the 
just see he does not like me at all. I want to mine that ore though. Why did you have to blow up my garden? You mean old creepers. My goodness, these creepers hate me so much. Come on, give me the chest already. Thank you. Why can't I pick these up? Oh my goodness. Thank you. I still think your pack hates me. replant the sweet potato have more pokefenium again. Seriously. Thank you. Our chickens and our cows haven't despawned yet, which is good. Um Remember the name of those things? Spike? It's not them either. Mm. I want to make some thing that'll make the, make a grinder. I can't remember what they're called. Water? No. Light belly and a skillet. Um, peaceful module. Landmine. Okay. I can't think of the name of those sticks that you can get in some of the um, modded mine, the other modded Minecraft series, like um, what's it called? Agarian Skies and English fails me this morning. I apologise for that. 
should be in here, surely. There has to be an easy way to kill a mob. I'd like to automate killing mobs. Is that hard? That's a spawner. I don't want a spawner. Jetpack fueler, syringe, enriched solarium from genipacks. I really cannot find anything to make a simple grinder. Um, dark glass, is that in here? This makes it slightly hard to make a mob grinder. It's out of water already. It's out of coolant. We need to go mining for more redstone to power the uh, to put in the vat to create fuel. We go got plenty of coolant. I don't need to make any power at the moment. It goes through power so fast. It doesn't actually spawn anything. I wonder if it's because it's not dark enough. What I might need to do is make a little spawning room. How would I turn this on? I'd have to leave it always active without a state of level. Just let it gain more power. Turn it back on again. Generating enough power. Come on. It's got enough power. Oh, yeah, it worked. There's a dimlet. Mm. 
Yes, we have our first unknown dimlet. Yes, we can finally, finally, after ages and ages of researching and figuring out how to get a dimlet, we get one. Okay, so first things first. Machine frame. Okay, so and scrub a dimension builder, dimension editor, dimension monitor, empty dimension, dimension inscriber. We need it, doesn't need anything too important. The dimension builder also doesn't need anything important. So, I have three things to work on the dimension researcher. The dimension in builder, the dimension inscriber, and we now have a better power source that we can power the generators. So get your matter receiver and matter craft a tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four. We already did that. Um the storage scanner was one we wanted to make as well, wasn't it? This machine will scout all new variety entries and show them in a list. You can then search for items in those inventories. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so I, I do have a fair bit more to work on between now and the next episode, so... I know this is going to be probably a shorter episode, but we learnt a lot that we know that the... that the that this, the powered spawn actually does work and I was just powering it incorrectly and now I need to just make a spawning room that the endermen won't teleport out of, not that it really matters because they don't really teleport very far anyway um, so the there's no real easy way to make a grinder I just have to find a spot for them and kill them that'll work and I'm just so so happy that we finally have our first unknown dimlet and we can finally start working onto the RF tools and making our own dimension and thank you guys so much for your support in this series it is going really really well and I'm really really enjoying it so thank you guys for coming and have a nice day